What's going on guys, it's Thomas here. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to access your saved Safari passwords on your Mac. Uh, it's a pretty easy process and let's get right into it. All right guys, so accessing your saved passwords in Safari is actually pretty easy. Uh, so we're doing this just by the way on macOS Catalina and it also works on previous operating systems like macOS Mojave, macOS X, other older operating systems released uh, a while ago. So. To access your safe passwords, you're going to open up Safari and you're going to click Safari in the top left corner of your screen and you're going to click preferences and you're going to click passwords and you're going to enter your password or use touch ID. And here are all my websites and my username and my password. And if I want to access uh, the password of a website I can just click on it and it will reveal my password another cool feature that this passwords tab adds is it can tell if you're using the same password on multiple websites and it will warn you because that's pretty insecure because basically if one website holding your password gets hacked then the hacker can access many different websites where you have the same password and the rest of this page is pretty self-explanatory there's the add button which allows you to add a website, username, and password. There's the remove button so when you click on a website and you click remove, it will let you remove that password. And actually the third uh, feature which is kind of hidden but is really useful, if you want to share your password with somebody so that they can autofill it on their device, you just hit details and you hit this little share button which looks like a box with an arrow and then you can just choose how you want to send it to them, usually with airdrop. And then it will automatically add it to their Safari autofill so that when they visit that website, they'll be able to autofill that password as well. So this is pretty much it, as simple as that. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video and you learned something, please do let me know by hitting that subscribe button. And if you want to see more tech tutorials or learn more about how to use your Mac or your iPhone in general, then please do hit that notification bell. Uh, it really does mean a lot. And thanks so much for watching. I do hope you have a great day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.